I remember was like 23 years ago in February. That time I was a, a Ramadan time. When I came out of the mosque, I see all the guys going in one garage. And I follow the guys and I see they have a kickboxing lessons there. And that time uh, the movie Rocky, you know, with the American gloves. That time my heart follows kickboxing, so we choose for kickboxing. And uh, I start to fight my first professional on my 16 years old with uh, knocking people out every month. Almost I had a fight, so I get popular and I love to do it. You know? In the beginning, it was uh, hard to adapt to, uh, uh, from kickboxing to MMA. MMA was wrestling, uh, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, boxing, all kind of different uh, uh, sports. That's why it's uh, called mixed martial arts. And uh, it was hard in the beginning. Why? Because it was hard to make the shadow what I'm gonna do today and I need to train a little bit resting with jiu-jitsu because I really like to do it and I, I like to spar, I like to roll, I like to see the techniques, it's like chess game, you know? So, uh, I love it, man. I love to do it. The moment the fight starts, the moment of the entrance, I was like, what I'm doing here, you know? Because I'm fighting for 20 years, only kickboxing. The moment the fight starts, I start good the fight, and the moment I, I start to clinch with him, I look at the reverie and I was thinking like, hey, break, because with kickboxing it was like, when you get in a, in a close situation, like clinching, you only can do one technique and you need to stop the fight. And nobody was stopping the fight there. And at that moment was the first time I was like, okay, let's go. This is something different and you have to show it now and I have to prove myself. He's eating punches and kicks! Oh, big left top! Talk. That is it! I run gyms around Istanbul. I used to do MMA fighting also, but I stopped five years ago. Now we're training with Saki. He's my very, very close friend, my brother. And I'm trying to help him as much as I can with the groundwork and wrestling. Wrestling is in his blood because it's Turkish and uh, he's, he's learning so fast, you know, and, and he's surprising us. We're bringing natural, natural uh, wrestlers here, national wrestlers, uh, Black Belt Juice guys. Burak was here this, uh, this week, Burak Salman from Australia, and um, a lot of guys from kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. So we're trying to put pressure on Saki. Wrestlers we have, uh, jiu-jitsu we have a couple of black belts. I would love to bring them in one team, make a, make a one uh, big team like Turkish top team, you know? Like they have an uh, American uh, top team, Brazilian top team. We would love to build one Turkish <coughs> top team. I'm here for the week um, helping um, Saki train. I was invited by my close friend, older brother Ertan Balaban. Saki is doing great things like for, for the Turkish community all around the world, like not just motivating people on the street, but you know, bringing all the Turkish athletes, we have world-class athletes and Saki is um, he's starting a legacy, a brand new legacy and he's, he's reviving the culture we have within us, you know. It's, um, so we're born to be the best and Saki is creating this um, amazing atmosphere for us to like bond and, and build legacies on our own. You know, I'm open for every fight. At this moment, uh, DC is the champion. I would love to fight him. And I think his style, you know, uh, I like to fight somebody like him. My goal in the UFC is uh, like to become a champion, of course. And a champion, uh, nobody will forget. Everybody, they talk about my uh, kickboxing career. And I believe after 20 years, they will remember me my kickboxing style still and the, st the same I want to do with the UFC man I want to become a champion a champion nobody is gonna forget inshallah <laughs>